UK Coffee Box here and today I'm bringing you a comic book haul from this year's Free Comic Book Day. For those of you who are not familiar with Free Comic Book Day, it's always held on the first Saturday in May. It is a global event, meaning that there'll be comic book stores in every country in the world, to my knowledge, participating, at which free comic books are given away to those who visit the shop on that day as a way of celebrating the industry and its fans. So, today, today's comic free comic book day also coincided with Golden Orbit's comic book fair which is a touring fair that appears in a few cities up and down England approximately every six to eight weeks so besides going to the two local comic book stores to me which are part of the Forbidden Planet chain and the Travelling Man chain I also went to the comic fair which has held at a hotel in Manchester City Centre as well so I thought I would share with you some of the things I picked up today and I'm also going to host a giveaway at the end of the video um, where I'll be giving away some of the comics from Free Comic Book Day 2016 to a few lucky viewers who were who may have been on okay okay so stay tuned to the end of the video while I'll also be hosting a giveaway where I'll be giving away at my own cost some issues from this year's free comic book day collection to a few lucky viewers who may have not been able to attend an event at a comic store near them okay so let's get started so the first thing i bought i picked up today wasn't actually a freebie but i've been wanting one for quite some time and since i bought him at forbidden planet uh, I should note at this point this video is not sponsored by Forbidden Planet or Travelling Man or the company behind Free Comic Book Day, just to be clear. And all the opinions contained within are of my own. Okay. So, the first thing that I actually got today was a vinyl pop figurine of Dobby because I'm a huge Harry Potter fan and I've wanted one of these for quite a long time and I haven't had much luck in getting hold of one but I found one today and here he is so, I am intending to use Dobby as the mascot for some of the videos on the Puppy Books channel so I'm quite happy to open him up out of the box so we can all get a better look move the arms or legs on these ones I do also have an Hermione Granger one which you can it might be designed for on the one that I have but you can turn her head a little bit but on these ones they're not poseable like a, a traditional action figure would be so but here's Dobby and we'll, we'll let him sit next to me now for a bit okay um the next thing I got was volume one of The Wicked and the Divine, which is written by. Sorry, I'll get the correct names for you in a second. Kieran Gillen, Jamie McKelvey, and Matthew Wilson. Um, this is volume one of the series, which combines issues numbers numbers one to five and from the synopsis on the back every 90 years 12 gods return as young people they are loved they are hated in two years they are all they are all dead it's happening now it's happening again which i i quite liked the cover image here you know, with the the feather that's burnt running into the flame um, as I actually do write myself, I have always found 
like images involving feathers, especially feather quill pens, were quite interesting. So this one kind of jumped out to me on the shelf. So I'll see if there's an image that's okay to show on here because some of the content in this particular comic is not really suitable for younger readers. Okay, this one looks quite, this looks like quite a safe image. So that's what the inside looks like. Okay. The next one I picked up, this one at the comic fair, which is run by a group known as Golden Orbit. If there's anybody watching this video who are in England, I can post the link in the comments box below so that you can check out if there's any fairs near you. Because I do believe they also hold fairs in, besides Manchester, where I attended today. They also do fairs in Liverpool, Nottingham, Sheffield and possibly a couple of other areas because they've recently expanded their tour list. So I'll put that in the links below for anyone who wants to check that out. Okay. So this one is called RIP MD, which I got at the comic fair today as one of the dealers was doing a buy one get one free offer. So I've got this with another graphic novel. Um, this isn't, I'm not actually that familiar with this one, but I quite liked the, the horror cartoon feel. It reminded me a little bit of something like The Addams Family or some of like, like Goosebumps and some of the monster cartoons that I used to watch when I was younger. Okay, so this one does have some images of zombies and a few other monsters in it. Okay, yeah, but it is actually slightly more suitable for, I'd say someone like over the age of 10, this one, because there's not actually very much blood. It doesn't mention an age certificate on the cover. So it has lots of pictures like this one inside. So I think this is supposed to be some sort of ghost or monster here. And the main character, which is this boy here, is able to talk to them for some reason that I'm not entirely sure of just yet because I haven't actually read this one. Okay. So the next one I got, which was in the deal with RIP MD, was one that I know is intended to be a horror comic, which is called, and then Emily was gone. Which this particular graphic novel tells the story of a police detective who goes in search of a missing girl and instead finds something else that he did not expect to find. So this particular volume, which is volume one, collects the entire miniseries and the synopsis on the back says, Greg Hellinger is a man who sees monsters, a former detective driven to the brink of madness by terrifying apparitions. Helen Jo is tasked with finding a missing schoolgirl named Emily. His search takes him to a remote community in the Orkney Islands of Scotland where strange and terrible things are happening. Okay. I don't think I'll show any actual images from this one because the storyline is intended for older readers. So, yeah. so um, just in case there's anyone underage watching this video. And then I also bought this one at the comic book fair as well for 50 pence, which is quite a good deal really. 
considering they're usually more of towards about two or three pounds for a single issue when they originally come out. Um, this one has a storyline about the Black Canary character who is sort of quite well known within the DC universe. She's becoming more popular in the past couple of years because her character has been included in the TV show Arrow and may have also been referenced in things such as the Avengers as well. So I'm, I'm not a huge DC reader myself. But I thought this one might be quite fun to read, especially because I'm currently helping a friend of mine organise her own wedding, of which I'll be bridesmaid at later this year. So I thought this one might be fun f to read and then pass on to her inst her afterwards instead. Okay? Right. And then... The very, very last thing that I actually bought today before I get on to the free the free comic books, which is quite a thick pile, is the collected edition of a graphic novel known as Lost Girls, which was written by Alan Moore and illustrated by Melinda Gebby. I'm not going to show you any screenshots from inside this particular book though, because there is a slight bit of controversy surrounding the content of this novel. Okay, and we're back now. So this lot I have here is my actual haul from Free Comic Book Day today, which is easily over 20 if not 30 different comics with all ranging from titles suitable for younger readers to those intended for more mature um i'm not going to go through every single one of these because a lot of the preview art and synopsis for these individual titles can be found on the free comic book today website which I will post a link to that in the comments box below just in case any of you watching aren't actually familiar with Free Comic Book Day at all and you'll be able to see what some of the titles for this year were. Uh, occasionally they also offer the option to download Free Comic Book Day titles as a PDF file which then can obviously be read on any computer or smart device such as a tablet or a phone. So, out of the ones that I got today, I'll just focus on, I think, three or four of my favourites, rather than going through every single one of them. Okay, so, we'll start with Serenity, which this particular title a lot of people have been quite excited to see in the lineup for this year's free comic book day because it was produced as a way to celebrate the launch of the new Serenity graphic novel which continues on the storyline from Firefly and Serenity the TV series which a lot of people including myself were very very disappointed when it was cancelled so quite a few of us are very keen to see the story arc started in the TV series and the film continue onwards and be completed. So most of the illustration style is done in line with the appearance of the original actors casting those roles. So it's quite nice and bright. Um, I've not actually had a chance to read this one yet so I'm not going to go into too much detail because I want to be able to read it properly. But I do also have a spare copy of this one, which I'll be including in the giveaway at the end for anybody who wants it. Now, as someone who's participated in Free Comic Book Day on many, many occasions for the last few years, because Free Comic Book Day itself is 15 years old now, one of the titles that I always try to get hold of each time the event is being held, which is always the first Saturday in May, 
never ever any update ever so anyone who says no it's not in may it's in june tell them to go away because they're talking out the bottom okay so one of the titles i always try to get a hold of is the summer blast edition from boom because this title always has a short story from labyrinth inside it which this year's story is about ludo and he's right at the very very front now as a long time fan of labyrinth i am always trying to collect these edi particular editions because i've not yet managed to find an actual labyrinth comic with exception to the original three part set which was released when the film was originally released in 1985 and I had to buy those in New York and I don't fancy having to fly across the world to buy a comic if I can help it if anyone happens to have any information on the natural labyrinth comic that's been produced much more recently you know as in the last couple of years if you feel like being nice and posting some information on that for me in the comment box below that would be much appreciated so this particular one first summer blast has stories from the Lumberjanes graphic novel, which is quite well into run now. There's been two or three volumes already. The Labyrinth comic, as I mentioned, as well as Mouse Guard, which I would highly recommend to anyone who was a fan of the book series Redwall, written by Brian Jackus, because a lot of the themes in Redwall are used in Mouse Guard and the drawing style would very very much suit the red wall narrative if anyone was ever to actually try to make a, a cartoon or a graphic novel of the red wall stories which i really should try and find some of those because it's been a long time since i've read them so is that one um i also have samplers here from civil war correction civil war which any avid cinema goer knows that Civil War will be the next film in the Avengers and Captain America franchise. Civil War itself as a comic has been out for several years in singles, trade paperback and hardback. But appears to have been updated for Free Comic Book Day with a slightly different drawing style which I sometimes refer to as photo reel though I don't think that actually is the correct name for this format because it gives the images and uh, of edited photographs as opposed to illustrations okay and then I have a few more tit DC titles, a few here that are definitely aimed at the Nickelodeon crowd. But finally, I wanted to focus on this particular one, which is called March. It contains samples from the March trilogy of graphic novels, which discuss the history of the American Civil Rights Movement. The first book in particular focuses on the congressman John Lewis, uh, his meetings with Martin Luther King Jr and the progression of uh, votes being awarded to, to people of colour in America and you know and so on and so forth. So the civil rights movement itself is not something that's often discussed in England especially on high school curriculums for history so this is a subject I know very very little about so I'm quite interested to read this one and if I enjoy it I'll then go out and buy the three full books that accompany this this one so that I can learn more because it's quite an important topic and you know, it's never too late to actually learn more about the history of the people around me. Yeah, 
the rest of my bundle which is still quite thick here there's yeah, some more DC uh, Love and Rockets is quite an interesting one and Suicide Squad which of course there is the new Suicide Squad film coming out later this year and then finally we're on to the giveaway so I have a copy of March Attack on Titan Anthology now Attack on Titan Anthology is not suitable for anyone under the age of 15 and really should only be sent to somebody who's already familiar with the manga and the anime series due to the themes contained within so because of that for the giveaway you have to be over the age of 18 a subscriber to this channel and then we can have two winners and I don't mind if you live anywhere within the UK Europe America Canada Australia you're all welcome to take part so you have to be over the age of 18 a subscriber and leave a comment in the comment box below saying that you would like to take part to receive a couple of the issues from free comic book day because obviously not everyone is able to actually reach a participating store in time to receive some um accompanying the comics i also have some star wars bookmarks that i received today is a free bit at the Golden Orbit comic book fair that I will also include with the comics but the the pack toy safely right now ready to be shipped so that's it I hope you've enjoyed this haul if anyone's got any questions you know just just ask away and you know you can easily find me on Twitter or ask in one of the comments below uh, I hope you enjoyed this one and see you next time. Bye!